In this video, I'm going to give you a quick explanation of why the fuse and the switch must be on the live wire. Okay, you can read through the notes again, but let's use this blank canvas here. Okay, now, as you know that the fuse and the switch, if you have to draw it, they have to be drawn on the live wire. So this will be the position of the fuse and switch. Now, this switch is actually mainly refers to the switch on the electrical appliances so it will be best to draw the switch after the fuse okay so why is it that we have to put it here now why not i use the switch alone to explain because both the explanation the reason are the same so let's talk about if i were to put the switch here okay and some students say why the switch must be on the live wire and their answer is the purpose is to switch on and off the appliances but the, this reason is wrong because if the switch is on the neutral wire if I open the switch here these appliances can be switched off or on if you want to so that is not the reason whether it's on the neutral wire or on the live wire so what's the actual uh, reason for that now let's say if you switch it off but if there's a damaged insulation, let's say the live wire, there's a frail wire and it touches the metal casing. So the if you look at this path here, this is 240 all the way until here. The whole casing is actually 240 volt, live at 240 volt. Even though the switch is open and this thing is not working at all, it's being switched off already, the whole casing will be live. And if any user were to touch it, okay he will get electrocuted so that's why the switch must not be on the neutral wire it has to be on the live wire so if my switch is over here you can say that you can see that even though there's a fault here live wire touches the metal casing now if i were to use another color so the blue path all the way until here it is 240 volt from this point onwards it will be zero volt so once the switch is open, it disconnects the appliances from the high potential of the live wire. So even if you touch the metal casing, it will be safe. That's the reason why the fuse has to be on the live wire also. So in the event where the switch is open or the fuse is blown, it melts and breaks the circuit. So it's the same thing, it will disconnect the appliances from the high potential of the live wire if i may bring you back to the notes here so the one in the yellow box here so fuse and switch they have to be on the live wire and the reason being because if the fuse is blown or the switch is open the appliances will be disconnected from the high potential of the live wire so this ensures that the appliances will not be live even if there's a electrical fault so that's the reason why so if you need to read through the notes again i hope this helped